What's happening people? We're back in the kitchen again. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to use the Kasori air fryer to try and make a uh, like an American style, they call it grilled cheese sandwich. Um, I'm from the UK, obviously you can tell from my broad Yorkshire accent, um, but we in the UK, if you're watching from America, then uh, in the UK we don't do like grilled cheese really. We have cheese toast as we call them. And generally, everybody in the UK will have one of these machines, like a little toasting machine. This is about 10 years old, this, so you have to forgive it being a, a bit scratched and whatnot. So this is our toasting machine. And you used to be able to pick these up for about 10 quid. Uh, we've had that for about 10 years, like I say. Um, but I have seen some other people make these like American grilled cheese sandwiches where, now this freaks me out a little bit. They're putting mayonnaise on the outside. Normally in the toasting machine, you put a thin layer of butter you press it and it's sealed. Now on a grilled cheese, it's not actually sealed. So I'm gonna try and make one in the air fryer. So I've got a few bits and bobs. Now, I in the, to in the toaster machine, I'd always use grated cheese. However, from the videos that I've watched, generally people are using what they call in American cheese, which is like, in the UK we call these cheese slices. And they are the cheapest kind of cheese to use. It's like, I suppose it's like processed, like, like processed squeezy cheese. They call that American cheese, so we're going to give that a go, but I have got some grated cheese as well, because I'm going to put both in, because I just don't know how that's just going to be nice. So, I'll come down here and show you what I've got, and also we've got a couple of bonus American drinks, new at Aldi. So, come and have a look at these. So we're going to be using a nice, soft farmhouse loaf, this was from Aldi. Uh, like I said there, on the outside, I'm going to use mayonnaise, like I've never done this before, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. I have got the American cheese slices there, American cheese, cheese slices in the UK. I've also got some cheddar and some mozzarella. Um, I like onions in my toasters, so I'm going to add some of this diced onion. So my grilled cheese is going to be a grilled cheese with onion. And yeah, let's see what we can do. Let's get making it. Well, I'll take you down there to uh, make this toaster. I just want to let you know, in one of the middle aisles in Aldi, I found some... Um, I found some American pop soda, if you will, and they have got their own version of root beer now. Now, I know that root beer in the in, in the UK is very hard to come by. Um, me and a, me and a partner of mine had a, we used to have an American sweet shop. It's now it's now gone, unfortunately, due to COVID and all that. What the people just and the cost of living, people just can't afford to buy imported sweets and things, and it was getting hard to import it. So we ended up closing that. But the root beer, we, it used to be selling. So it sold well as well. And it used to sell for about two pound a can. And that's just a normal little can. Obviously, it was costing us over a pound to bring it into the country. However, this big bottle here from Aldi, one litre bottle, 40 pence. Now, they have three different flavours. Like obviously, like they're made by their Vive brand. They have three different flavours. We've got root beer. We've got cream soda and that one actually says american style does that one say american style yeah they do say american style on them cream soda and also they had grape soda now i've had that before and i'm not a fan so i didn't buy that but they are all 40 pence a bottle so these are all right so we'll get this american grilled cheese in the um in the air fryer i'm going to try and do it in this cassori and then obviously it'd be better in a pan but we're going to do it in the cassari, we're going to see what you can do. Um, and then, while that's in cooking, I'll, I'll crack these open and we'll have a taste. Right, let's get down here. So we want two slices of this nice bread. I do think that sometimes on a toaster, the thinner bread's better, but I think because we're doing it, not doing it in the toaster machine, this farmhouse bread's going to be really, really cracking. Now normally, like I say, I would put butter on it, but I'm going to use mayonnaise because that is what... I'm told to do so I've just got this Bramwell's cheap mayonnaise from Aldi ah, if can open it there we go I don't know how much to put on on the butter it's just a thin layer so but you do want it to go all the way to the edges I mean I suppose I'm gonna put a bit more on than that I suppose mayonnaise is basically oil isn't it I think it's I've not looked at the ingredients before, but it's a lot. It's very fatty, isn't it? So I 
one plus to this doing it in the air fryer and not the toasty is sometimes the bread doesn't fit in the toasty so you end up having to cut some off that won't be an issue here so i'll move that to the back there and i'll get this uh, air fryer sorted so by all accounts you just go you put the mayonnaise side down in there now it's quite a big one this would probably be able to get mm, maybe not I'll put, i'm going to put it dead in center and then i'm going to add a slice of american cheese as they call it i'm going to put it dead in the middle then i'm going to add some mozzarella Probably a bit of a clean up job, but there always is even with the toaster. Then we'll go in with a little bit of onion, because I do like my onion. I won't put too much in. But it does just give it that little extra crunch, little extra crisp. Now this is raw onion, you can fry it before, but ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> then we'll go cheddar I like the all different colour cheese so it's like a three cheese and onion grilled cheese sandwich spread it all out to the edges because you do want it to come out of the edges slightly we're hoping for a big nice cheese pull here on this then the the next slice of american cheese as they call it or a cheese slice if you're in the uk 45 for about 50p <laughs> and i'm just gonna put that back on top a little bit broke off there and then the second one with the mayo on top in there like that and to pat it down just going to try squish it down a little bit try hopefully it holds together we'll get it in the air fryer now and it should take about three to four minutes on each side I think the first side will be longer because it'll brown and crisp up on this griddle on the bottom of the tray and It'll brown sorry on the top and it won't cook at the bottom. I'll have to flip it and it'll cook more on the on the other side. So I'll bring you back in three to four minutes. So I think that this toast setting is actually the bread is not cooking bread, I think it's toast. So 168 minutes, I think that's toast. So we'll do that. Because you're not cooking bread in eight minutes, are you? So I'll bring you back. I'm going, to I'm going to pull it out at five minutes, turn it over and do three minutes on the other side. So I'll bring it back in five minutes. So while that's cooking, we'll get on with these uh, American style sodas, American style pop. So I'm going to start with the cream soda. Now, it smells, it smells like sweets. Cream soda smells like, um, a little bit like pear drops, soda, soda pops, I don't know. Cheers. Oh wow, my daughter will love that. I had cream soda since I was a child. That's not bad. A bit too sweet for me, like. But my daughter will love that, I think. Um, we used to get it from Ben Shaw's when um, the pot man used to deliver the pot, along with the milk and the, and the eggs and everything. The pot man used to deliver pot. Right, now, I have no... I can't really remember what that 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 was like as a child because it was a long long time ago <clears throat> but it is too sweet for me that so root beer now i have had this recently and i've had the aw brand the american the actual official american brand because we've um, obviously got rid of the sweet shop so we had a few tins so i tasted it now it smells anybody that's played football in their life root beer smells like 
a chain, when I first started playing open age football when I was about 16, root beer for me smells like a changing room used to smell with open, all, all the guys putting all, all deep heat on the rubbing all, all deep heat into the jo old bones and old joints. I suppose I'm that old guy now, if I were there I'd, be, I'd need to be getting warmed up with deep heat. Or germally, it's really like medicinal, so let's see what it tastes like. It tastes exactly as it smells. It's a, I suppose it's an acquired taste. I don't mind it to be fair, um, but it does. Yeah, it tastes like germline, <laughs> like you're drinking medicine. Not bad. Um, for an adult, I probably go root beer, and for a child, I probably go cream soda at them too. But grape soda is available as well. Forty p for a litre. It's not bad. Do you know what? It costs a living crisis. When, that, when if you're if you're going to have to pay two one fifty two pound a can for root beer, get to Aldi and try that because. You're getting lots more, three times as much for a quarter of the price. Right, two minutes and we've got to split this uh, grilled cheese sandwich. I just started, the heavens just opened. Although the sun's also shining. British weather. Right, come on. Right, so it's been five minutes. So the, the top has moved slightly, so we want to move that back on. It is crisping up. So we'll give it a, it's not near ready actually, is it? It's gonna need, probably gonna need eight minutes on both sides at this bit, at this setting. Maybe I should have turned it up, turned it up, but you, do, you don't wanna rush this process because it is it's feeling quite nice. I'm gonna go eight minutes both sides. Bring it back in three. So it's been the full eight minutes now. And it's just starting to get there. Um, I want to see what it looks like underneath, but I'm going to have to try. Right, so it's not ready underneath. I'm going to put. I'm going to turn it over though. I'm going to flip it over because the underneath needs doing, and I'm going to put it back in for another eight. So hopefully that will be sorted. But I'm going to turn it up. The bread setting is okay, but I'm going to put it up to 175. So I put it up to 175, and uh, I'm going to put it up for another eight minutes. It's probably going to. It's probably a bit of faffing about, but you know what? I don't. I don't test any of this before I start recording. I just bank camera on and wing it. So I apologise if it goes on some of these videos, but I I waste my time to try to save you some time. That's kind of how it, how, it, how it works. So see you in another eight minutes. Okay, let's give it a check after another five minutes. I think I'm gonna leave it there. That's looked pretty much done to me. Nice and perfect. Right, let's get this out and let's get it cut. there we go there's the cheese now it hasn't really it is stuck together it is stuck together but it doesn't it's not as firm as like on the toasting machines obviously it's, it's sealed all around the edges but this is more like a sandwich than a toaster so I think we've got to cut it diagonal in the true American style Crunchy, very, very crunchy edges. Wow, look at the cheese there on the knife. <laughs> so it's definitely melted. I was worried because it's been in so long that the cheese might have overcooked, but oh, there we go. Grilled cheese sandwich. Wow. Right, let's have a taste. Well, it's all important taste time. Wow. Look at that cheese melting out of there. Right, at the risk of letting some fall on the floor, 
I'm gonna try Try my very own cheese pull. Wow. <laughs> Let's get straight into it. Come on. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Nice, crispy. Listen to that. So crunchy. Mm. Onions in there. The sun, the sun's coming out randomly, but just raining a minute ago. Mm. Wow. We'll go again with this cheese pump. Unbelievable. Worth it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Obviously, once you get the settings right and you figure out what your what the air fryer will will cook it in, it's gonna be a lot easier for you. But you know what? That's banging. I give that a taste. Cheese and onion. Oh, you can't beat it, can you? Melted cheese sandwich. A grilled cheese. I should have done this on 4th of July. I'm gonna give that a nine out of ten. Obviously, it's a, a bit of faffing with the air fryer, but that's because I'm just winging it as I go. But, next time I'll know. Bang it up to 175. Probably take about eight minutes in total. Five and three. Just 160 were a little bit too low. It took a little bit too long to cook. But the cheese didn't burn, so it was nice. Patience is a virtue and all that. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you tomorrow for another food review. What's happening, people? Back in the kitchen again. Hope you're all fantastic. Would be special. Wouldn't buy that again.